Greetings. My name is Pratham Kalra. I am from ENC and our group number is 81. Our project is Smart IoT based traffic management system and we have made this project under the guidance of Dr. Devabrata Ghosh and Dr. Dinesh. So handing over my to my colleagues to elaborate further on this project. Hello, my name is Aditya Gupta and I'm from Electronics and Communication Engineering. Today, I'm going to talk about how traffic signals are an essential part of a transportation infrastructure, which helps us to regulate the flow of traffic and ensure the safety of drivers and pedestrians. However, managing traffic signals can be complex and time-consuming tasks. That's where our project comes in. By using IoT or the Internet of Things, we have developed a system that can monitor and control traffic signals in real life time, making the process more efficient and effective. Our system uses sensors to gather data on traffic patterns and congestions at intersections. This data is then analyzed and used to optimize the timing of traffic signals, improving the flow of traffic and reducing delays. As an added feature, we've also included the functionality for emergency vehicles. That is, when an emergency vehicle is approaching an intersection, a system will automatically adjust the traffic signals to allow the vehicles to pass through safely and efficiently. Now, I'll pass this to my uh, teammates to further elaborate on this project. Aditya Snehi of Electronics and Computer Engineering and today I will be briefly explaining our project. I'll shift the view to the project. Coming to our project on display, the board I'm pointing to is symbolically the brain of the whole traffic controller which is further connected to a transformer capacitor setup which converts the analog 220 volts power supply into the needed digital supply to the logic board our microcontroller and the comparator IC. On the left, we can see two seven segment displays which are symbolic of the traffic lights in any particular two-way path. Over further to these displays are the sensors that are wired to the LEDs on the logic board which are then relayed to the comparator and most of the wirings have been hidden under the board. Further, we have a transmitter and a receiver couple that is later used to explain how we would deal in such a situation with emergency vehicles. To manage for emergency vehicles, we have a transmitter receiver couple. It features 12 volt DIC and an antenna on the transmitter as well as the receiver side. On the press of a button, once connected, the 12 volt will relay a signal to the CPC which will then relate further at a particular frequency of 443 Hz which is set for clarity once delayed and directed on the receiver's end which will pass to the 12 volt DIC will then further propagate to the microcontroller which passes an instruction to display the turn on the green LED consequently setting the timer to zero and allowing emergency vehicles to pass momentarily and once the transmitter is halted the controller environment turns to 